How's it going, guys? Welcome to the Piggy Bank, your favorite casual Piggy gaming Bank. podcast with your casual gaming buds. My name is Phil. I'm your host for this show. Here with my good friends, we have Connor Elliott. Season's greetings. What season is it? It's, uh, spring. Oh, you know what? Uh, St. Patty's. You know, that just happened. That did. Yeah, that was that saying? was yesterday, yeah. yeah. And we have Tavin. Tavin Hello. Bothell. What's poppin', players? I'm Tavin Bothell. Here, given all the fresh takes. Hey, we just re reviewed uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's live on the channel right now. You should go watch it. There probably is a short, a YouTube short review out by the time you see this. So, you know, subscribe. <laughs> YouTube.com you slash not, not, games. Good old, good old not non-committal on like, oh, there might be. Who knows? <laughs> I'm going to try um, real hard, guys. <laughs> I'm going to try real hard. Boys, I've got some news. Oh! Uh -huh. I, today... Oh? After my workout today, I rolled credits on Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Oh, Damn, very nice. Okay. Look at him. How many hours is that? Uh, I really should have looked. Uh, yeah, matter of fact, let me fill in time while I load up my PlayStation and, and, over, check, and check. Over under on how uh, long? 100 hours, do you think? No, I think well, I, I think, right, he I think he crossed 100. If it took Phil this long and how often he plays games yeah. for, long, uh, for long periods of time, 109. 109? But I, I, was, I wasn't only playing like a dragon, you know? You I were not. I wasn't only playing like a dragon. I was playing, I'm, playing other games, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say he crossed 115. I think he's over 115. That's the more advantageous position to take if you're trying to win against me. I, well, I'm often well, boys, to win against you. Connor, your, your guess was, was uh, 106? Uh, nine. Nine, 109. 109? Yeah. Uh, Tavin, your guess was? 115. 115. You guys both uh, did not get the uh, the wheel of fortune. You guys both went over. Oh, we both went over. Um, he didn't. He okay. didn't do 100. Nope. I I had a total right now on premium adventure, which is you know not new game plus, but like you're free roaming after you roll credits. Um, 83 hours, four minutes, 17 seconds. Shorter than I thought it would have been. You know, which is Honestly, saying much. Yeah, but. that surprises me because he was like as soon as he got the review done, he was I, he was like taking his time to do whatever the hell he wanted, mm, yeah. which is the way you're yeah. supposed to play Yakuza games. It yeah. is, yeah. Oh yeah, gotta breathe. Yeah. That world. Um, no, and I could I could see there easily being, I, I I'm crossing a, a, over 100 hours in this game. I'm uh, still I, playing. I mm -hmm. I could have crossed 100 in Rebirth, but I wanted I wanted to be done for the review. So yeah, and play the next game. Um, yeah. So the Infinite Wealth is fucking phenomenal. Um, I I cried at least twice playing this game. Oh wow! It's it's very 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 good. I teared up a lot during Rebirth. I'll say that much. I did during one scene, in particular. Sorry, this just came up because I, oh, I just, I just put my PlayStation. Doesn't matter. I just put my PlayStation into into rest mode. Did y'all see the new rest mode animation? No, is there? Yeah. No, what happened? It's like a new rest mode anim animation. Are you talking it, like, when it just it, shows like, the PlayStation? Because that was kind of always there, wasn't it? No, no, no. So it shows the PlayStation and like sucks up a bunch of like lights and it brings it back in, like like almost like the Dumbledore. Like light thing in uh, Harry Potter. Is that new? Uh, Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah. Oh, okay. To me, cool. it is. Instead, I, I've, I've I've never seen it before. Before it was like a yellow thing. Now it's like all white and glowy and like. I did I did notice it and I went, oh, that's a cool animation. But I just thought it was always there and I had just happened to notice it this last week. But actually, if I'm noticing it this week, it must because it must be because yeah. it's different. No customizable backgrounds for PS5, but we got no that. No themes. Yeah, yeah. There's got to be. I mean, I want themes back. You know? I, I miss my my Kingdom Hearts theme for my PS4. I miss my uh my Final Fantasy 15 one with that amazing. It's just the icons are so small. The icons are so small. Squid being a goddamn contrarian. And they, they huh? put so much information on the screen. You know, they put the you know your trophies and your progress through the game and your hours played and your friends who also are playing that game. I get you're still stuck in the time period where on the PlayStation 2 and the GameCube the menus were very simple for your small. They were brain nothing. And they were literally nothing. Yeah, exactly. So I would rather menu. have this than back to nothing. Mm -hmm. The only time the only time you would have a menu is if your either your your game wasn't read or you just didn't have a game in the disk drive. Yeah, what a way to. And honestly, that I kind of I kind of like how they have it now because it means like, hey, I scroll over to a game. Maybe I'm not ready to play it yet, yet, yet so I just scroll over to it. Maybe you know a, a main theme plays. You know, you, you you hear some Spider Man music. You hear some Final Fantasy music. You know, it's nice. That's nice. It kind of it kind of brings you into the kind of brings you into the mood of the game. But PS4 had that as well, and I want that and themes. But it didn't have that. It I did. just yeah. I really missed, no. It just really played the music of the, whatever theme you. That's had. all you need. No, wait, but, but I, I what also, if I want to get into the mood of the game I'm playing that. No, day? it would do that. You would go over it and it start making noises. It would. It, it would if if you if you hovered over the game. Yeah, it would. 
Not I'm everything. Four? It, no. Yeah, definitely. It wasn't as common as it is now with the mainline titles, but it would do it. And even even now, it's not every single game with PS5. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it depends. So, like, Battlefront yeah. Classic Collection is nothing. <laughs> it's just the PlayStation 5 yeah. theme or whatever. Um, but I, I just miss when you had a theme, like, it would change all of, like, the in- interface, like, sounds. It would change some like, icons, too. Mm-hmm. Icons would be different. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't remember the icons. It, depends on remember, the, it depended like, on the theme. Some Different themes had different things. So, like, the MGS5 Phantom Pain... Uh, all the icons would be stylized like that. Uh, I think the Uncharted Legacy theme, I think is what it's called. Uh, they would all turn into like, it, they would turn into like old map relics. Like if, if yeah, you were reading yeah. an old map and stuff, it was cool. I remember that one. That's dope. Yeah. Um, I still, I don't know what you guys are talking about where music, music would not play on the four. Yeah. If it, uh, it would play the theme music, the music of your theme, if your theme had music, but it, it, it did not play the, the game. I'm a, I'm a good 80 to 90% sure that it played the music from the game. I'm 100% because I remember being disappointed at certain points. I'm 99% no, I don't, sure. I don't, I don't, I, maybe okay. if you like scrolled down to like look at more information, but if, if you were just on the main screen, it wouldn't. Anyway. Well, uh, we'll never find out. Boys, have you guys been playing? Oh, also, yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't have a PS4 last, here. <laughs> since last we uh, we recorded the, the piggy bank, I have completed my run of Pokemon Soul Silver for the game club. So look at him yes. finishing games over here. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I just beat Rebirth, Mister Completion. I did load here. up. Uh, I did load up some Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection, and uh, toyed around in Battlefront One for about two minutes and I was like yeah this game's old and yeah. not great and then uh, and then I jumped into Battlefront 2 and I played a couple of the campaign missions and stuff and I, had, I had a fun time it was fun oh. you know uh, I didn't seemingly I seemingly didn't have any performance issues I did try and load into a multiplayer game and I I got into one but it wouldn't let me spawn I was just forced to continuously spectate it'd be like there was like a countdown timer until you could spawn and it just got stuck at one mm. um, so yeah so multiplayer definitely broken Definitely broken. I saw rest of the I game. I saw that there played. was. I saw that there was a uh, a bug where on PC I think where if you tried to search for a game mode it would crash your game. Jesus, <laughs> sounds about right for a PlayStation or for a PC, right? <laughs> why, why? You know, if you want to just have issues, if you just want to have issues while you play your video games, get a PC. Play games on a PC. Just troubleshoot your your free time away. Never had that problem on PS Five. Listen, there there may or may not have been a point a point in Rebirth where I, where I had to stare at an empty screen for about twenty minutes until my PlayStation could connect to the internet for some reason. They can for take Final away Fantasy? anything. Yeah, it was doing that thing where it's like, hey, we can't confirm your your licenses because you have my thing, you know, or whatever. So yeah. Whatever. Sometimes I think it's something to do with our apartment internet or something. Oh, Con- Connor's, had this, Connor's had this issue a lot. Where uh, where he just can't play his game because the connection isn't happening for whatever reason. I had that at my house when I was living with my parents. Oh, too. you had it over there too. Oh, really? yeah. Oh, interesting. I would have it every once maybe, in a while. I think I've had it. You, I think I've had it maybe two or three times here. Can't be Phil. Well, I uh, no, I've never I've never had that issue with uh with it's my with my because you're selfish and keep your uh, keep your license to yourself. You know, don't let us Damn. jump in on any. Aren't of these I also aren't I aren't I also logged in on your PlayStation? Yeah, but yours is your primary. Uh, that's that. That's what I'm saying. I I think I have Connor's primary from when I installed FF16, mm-hmm. and then Phil. I think you still have mine. I think. <laughs> Who knows? You know, he knows because he keeps downloading games, and I'm getting notifications uh, for when he downloads okay. them through me. I have not. Uh, I have not done any this year. I have I not have done not any this done year. Any this year, it's didn't you do Penny? Months did I buy Penny? I don't think you bought Penny. We'll say you didn't. I buy Penny. Got his ass. Got his Wait. ass. Wait. No. But, no. Okay. Yeah, I did. I did do Penny. I think I did do Penny. Got his ass. That's why you never. Even you then, never that's doubt like a the king. Dollar. You never doubt the king. This guy feels so Except badass. He's got control of the camera angles. And he Except thinks that makes wrong. his point better. Well, listen, if you ever did um, anything interesting on this fucking podcast, I'd cut to you every once in a while, you little bitch. I do so many interesting Damn. things. I look at the, the, the camera. You look at the wrong here. camera. Hey, smile. See, that's something. <laughs> Phil, what well, are we so doing here? <laughs> we, you know, this is our casual game podcast where we kind of talk about our weekend games. We play mini games where we, we bring together 
the three of us, and we, we you know, we, we come up with games uh, in the interim between recordings, and we uh, we challenge the others in, uh, in, in these little mini games that we play. It's really fun. Uh, last week, I did a, uh, a list for you guys where I took my, my top, I think it was eight Kingdom Hearts games, like mm-hmm. the important ones. Um, and I, I had you guys try to see how many you could get correct in the placement of how I, how I have them. This week, doing something very similar, only a different franchise. We're doing, uh, doing Pokemon. I knew it. Ah, I knew geez. it. All right, give me, give me a list of colors and fucking random letters. How many are there? All right. Oh, shit, uh, so there's the a total of nine. Buttons. Okay. Total of nine. So one more uh, than, than last week. Um, so I'm going to give you these in, in basically in um, generational order, which technically is still incorrect because some of these games are like remasters. So they're of a different generation, but of they're, they're, of, they're a different generation of games, but the uh, uh, same generation of uh, Pokemon. So for Gen 1, we have Fire Red and Leaf Green. I, I just shortened that to FRLG. Um, we have Soul Silver, Heart Gold for Gen 2. Gen 3, we have Emerald. Gen 4, we have Platinum. Gen 5, we have uh, Black and White or Black and White 2. Uh, I, I kind of, those are, those are like a, a continuous, continuous uh, story. So you can put Black and White for that answer. Um, X and Y, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon or just Sun and Moon. Uh, Sword and Shield. I forgot about Sun and Moon. (laughs) (laughs) Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet. All right. These are are the mainline Pokemon games. Have fun repeating those, Phil. That's fine. How how many are you missing, Connor? Like all of them? Because you say the game... And it's like one thing, but then it's like, well, where are they? This is, this is mad easy. It, uh, well, you just list them first, and then you, you figure it out later is what yeah. you do, Connor. Uh, you, you, that's what you're, you're supposed to take the word bank and then arrange them. Connor. See, I was, I was too busy forming my list to do that. See, one is easy. Right. One is super easy. I, well, just like last week, one should be super easy because I'm very vocal about what my favorite games okay. of these two series are. So, once again for you, Connor, we not have doing, Fire Red. Not doing uh, Legends Arceus? No, that's not a mainline. It's not a mainline Pokemon. Oh, game. okay. All right, I see what we're doing here. Um, mm-hmm. Fire Red, Leaf Green, Soul Silver, Heart Gold, Emerald, Platinum, Black and White, or Black Two and White Two, X and Y, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, or just Sun and Moon to make it easy. Sword and Shield, and Scarlet and Violet. So you should have a total of nine entries. Okay. Ooh, I think I fucked up. I think I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it. All right, so I'll go ahead and explain. Um, if you didn't watch last week, which you should have, uh-huh. because I thought last week was pretty good. Just one, um, last, one last thing. There, before, let me confirm this. So, go ahead. Pokemon Soul Silver, Red and Green, Emerald, Black and White, Platinum, Sword Shield, Sun Moon, X and Y, and then what was the other one? Scarlet and Violet. Scarlet and Violet. Okay. Um, I have compiled a top eight list of of where I rank these Pokemon games. Um, and I will have them try to see if they can if they can match the placement uh, be, uh, for nine, my list, isn't it? Nine total, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, there we go. Did, did I say eight? My you mistake. Said, you said eight. And, okay, well, last and week I was, was eight. I was looking at my numbers. I was like, I should have nine here, but yeah, I yeah. Got you. No, it's a total of nine this week. But last week it was eight, so I think I must have been thinking last week. But um, they have to try to match the placement on my list, and for each one they get correct in the correct place, uh, they get a point. And if they tie, we're going to give them another opportunity to, uh, excuse me, to uh, get it right and possibly uh, get more points. There's no way that works. And they're just going to they're gonna tell me their placements before I tell them each how many points they get. And uh, as soon as they're ready, we can go ahead and get started. I mean, a lot of this is just fucking, I don't know, put it wherever it is, because like, <laughs> like all, all these games just sound the fucking same to people who aren't Pokemon fans. Um, That's fair. So I have some guesses just based off of how conversations I've had with you in the past. Number one is super easy, obviously. Yes. Um, I'm very, like I said, I'm very vocal about my favorite. Uh, may or may not be what we're playing this month, month on, on the game, game club. club. Yeah, see us April 1st. What if we pull an April Fool's joke on him and say, "Nah, psych, we're not we're not reviewing that. We're reviewing Uncharted 2. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're reviewing um, 
fucking yokai watch which is like a pokemon uh like clone basically i'm ready whenever you are connor i mean it's uh, you know i just put them in, i put them in whatever order made sense and i moved a couple around i i'll say i put a little bit more effort into this based off of conversations with phil than i did with kingdom hearts because kingdom hearts it's just like a I don't know. These are just random fucking words. And granted, these are also just random fucking words. But I've also heard, I've heard things about specific games that like people don't care for X Y Z reasons. Um, that was not a pun. For Pokemon. Z, Z Z never came out. Yeah, so. Z never came out. Z never came out. Neither did. What does Scarlet and Violet make? I guess just. I mean, that's not a thing. Yeah. Scarlet and Violet just came out. Um, you put you put like red. In, you put you put red into purple. You just get. Deep, dark like what i mean it kind of just turns kind of like just blackish goes, I think. just goes more reddish wouldn't it i don't think so you know what i forgot to do what did you forget to do change the lighting <laughs> you silly goose it's still yellow from the from the penny games from the cast. penny games how many pennies two there we go i'm gonna go over here and i click these buttons oh god Perfect. And now the little guy in my Connor, are you locked in? In my one shot looks different too. Yeah. Hurry the fuck up. Shut the hell up. It's nine fucking, fucking games, not a goddamn essay. It's not a matter of it's a matter of what I think is gonna work. God, I'm very excited for y'all. Could have very start. easily just thrown Legends Arceus into this, made it a hit ten. Just saying. Just putting it out there. Would Arceus even be on there? You know I it, mean Arceus is more mainline than like a Pokemon Snap. Sure. But it's still not a mainline Pokemon game. Or a Detective Pikachu. All right. Could have done black and white and black and white too. There's 10 right there. Sure, you're right. You're right. I could have done that. Or I could have just been, I could have made it a hit 11 and also just put Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So. That's just the same game, but better. You say. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Fantastic. All right. Uh, Tavin, I'm going to let you go first. Uh, excellent. Phil? So starting from number nine, get, lay it on me. Number nine. <laughs> I went Pokemon X and Y. Number eight, I have Sword and Shield. Number seven, I have Sun and Moon. Number six, Platinum. Number five, Black and White. Number four, Scarlet Violet. Number three, I have Fire Red. Number two, I have Emerald. And number one, I have Soul Silver. Well, my, my uh, Connor, Connor you lay, lay your list on me, my friend. Nine to one. Nine yeah, with nice strength for number nine. With Scarlet Violet, eight with Sword and Shield, seven with Sun and Moon, six Black and White, five X and Y, four Fire Red, three Emerald, two Platinum, one Soul Silver. All right. Well, I'll tell you right now, we don't have to go again. <laughs> one, one of us was did a lot better than the others. I think it was you. Well, <laughs> Well, when you say a lot, I mean, one of you doubled the other person's score. Fucking shit. Jesus Christ. That means, like, one of us got two, one of us got four is mm. what that means. <laughs> See, my list well, was... Tavin, you were almost correct. Yeah. Because, Tavin, you got one. Ah, shit. And Connor got two. God damn. Okay. 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 <laughs> hey, I'll take that. <laughs> Fuck it. I thought I was screwed. All these things are the fucking same. Okay. <laughs> Soul Silver obviously was Connor, the one. Connor or Phil yeah. play games with actual identities behind them. These are all very. I mean, they're pretty different games. Yeah, my 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 reasoning for this list was I only hear like meh things about the new Pokemon games while everyone looks fondly back at the old ones, and so I was just kind of biased in I, favor of the old. Pokemon fandom said Scarlet and Violet mechanically is one of the best ever. It just doesn't run well. Like mm. the performance of the game is garbage. So like. I was like, all right, well, then it's probably... Because I also remember Phil really enjoying it, so I was like, it's probably fairly I high. Uh, I did enjoy it. And I know there's Pokemon games that Phil doesn't care for. I never hear I never hear anybody talk about X and Y, so I was like, all right, mm -hmm. X and Y bottom. Well, Tavin, you, you were very close in the beginning because I believe you had... Uh, you, your first one was X and Y and then Sword and Shield, right? Yeah. Just flip those two? Yeah, just flip those two. Sword Damn and it. Shield was I almost nine. did, too. I almost did. Sword and Shield was, is, is my number nine. Number eight is X and Y. Number seven, Scarlet and Violet. Oh wow! Mm. Oh wow! Which I I look I really do I I think it's a it's a it's great mechanically. I think it's it 
the free roaming, the um, the little mount you have, the uh, the Titan Pokemon you fight, and the the way that you can kind of challenge everything in whatever order you want. It's it's a great Pokemon adventure. It just doesn't run well. That's the main thing. Um, look good. Which like it doesn't look very good. That's another thing. Um, and you know it it was very hard for me to put it this low, um, but the sheer power that comes from the rest of this list is just, it, 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 I would not feel right putting it above any of these other ones. Mm. Number six, we have Fire Red and Leaf Green. Oh, wow. Um, one of the first Pokemon games I ever mm-hmm. played. Is, I, I, I expect this to be a controversial take. Um, it's just old, you know? It's a, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's, it's the updated version. It's the first remakes of the uh, original 151 Kanto. Uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green being the remakes of Red and Blue. Uh, because in Japan, they were released as red and green. Uh, so, yeah, me and my brother, uh, I had fire red, he had leaf green. And uh, we, we, we would have the little link cable. We, we had that on our little GBAs. It was great. It was a great time. Uh, followed by Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, or Sun and Moon. What number are we at? If five? Not, uh, number five, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so specifically Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I mean, th- it's, it's just the sequel to Sun and Moon, but Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are just better versions of the games. Kind of like how you said, Tevin. Um, there's a lot more that's just added to like the actual story. Um, I think the overall pace of the game is better. It's also uh, like the most challenging game in several years since it mm. uh, s- since before it was released, um, and since like everything. This won't mean anything to you, but to the audience, it'll mean something. Like all the trainer Pokemon are like perfect IV, perfect stats. Um, Everything is is exactly stacked against you uh, perfectly. The only thing that's 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 makes it easy is the fact that you can just over level and mm. not have to worry about the challenge. But if you're on if you're on level, you're gonna you're gonna have a challenging time. Um, then we have Pokemon Emerald. This is a fucking classic. Yeah, I'm what great, great game. Number four. Okay. Damn. Platinum's, uh, Pokemon Plat- Emerald. Platinum's top three, and I put it at six. <laughs> you did. That was that was a very bad bad choice. <laughs> Uh, platinum. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Emerald. You know, Phil it's talks about Phil of... talks about three mm-hmm. Pokemon games. He talks about Soul Silver. He talks about Emerald. Um, and then he talks about Scarlet and Violet. That's all I've ever heard him talk about. Everything I else. Talked he... about platinum. I talk about platinum more than yeah. I talk about Emerald. And that's why I I, ju- I can't remember a single time he's talked about platinum. I think I recalled him saying that was one of his favorites, which is what yeah. determined mm-hmm. my positioning. Mm-hmm. I'm, I, I think at some point because um, you did the uh, hit ten for like the best Pokemon games or whatever, mm-hmm. and I was like, yeah, platinum is the second best one. Uh, okay, I don't remember this conversation at all. Um, it was on another piggy bank, you know. Oh, because, looking back, so it's many because you know. I got too much valuable information up here, dude. That's six wasted on this Pokemon. Point, fair, yeah. fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, Emerald, you know, it's the it's the I I miss when they did this rather than just fucking releasing two games and then I don't know. I just miss I miss having the the third like better game. <laughs> they just stopped doing it because they were tired of people waiting to just wait for the third game to come out and just buy it so they can get everything. You know, cuz you know, if you buy Diamond and Pearl and then you buy Platinum, it's just the better version. You know. it's, anyway, go ahead. Uh, third, we have black and white or black and white two. Uh, the for me, black and white and black and white two are very interchangeable. Um, I think I'd probably lean more towards black and white two because it's got a it's got a much bigger Pokedex. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but black and white was like a, a very. It's not a soft reboot, and it's definitely not a hard reboot. It's like a mid reboot of the Pokemon franchise because it's literally an entire. It's the first time they've done an entire new uh, Pokedex with no pre existing Pokemon before. Hmm. Um, and it was, I think, it was hundred. It was more than the original one fifty one. It was like one hundred fifty eight or like one hundred sixty or something like that. I see. That's um, a, and that, they were that, all, all that's unique I, designs. I'm sorry to cut you off. Uh, that's okay. why I was like, oh, Sword and Shield near the bottom because it was the controversy of you can't bring your Pokemon over. Hmm. Yes, and that that is that is also why it's it's just also just not a very good game. <laughs> <laughs> Never um, seemed to be super easy too. Um, but yeah, Black and White is probably one of the best uh, narratives in in one of the Pokemon games. It, it's got one of the coolest uh, rivals. One of the well, I I know N's thing a rival. I'm sorry, you guys don't understand who N is, but you know. That's a uh, well. Some he's like the the chosen one basically for Pokemon. He beat his green fucking hair. ass. Yeah, I I do kick his ass. Mm-hmm. Uh, then followed by 
Pokemon Platinum. It's number two. Uh, yeah, it's Tough. it's That's it's good. the second best Pokemon game. So that, those are the two opinion. you got is Silver and Platinum. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. He did get Soul Silver and Pokemon Platinum. Those are the two that he got. The Our only one you got the most important. Soul we Silver. are not good at this, guys. <laughs> oh, says the loser. Says no, the no, loser. <laughs> y'all didn't do good on the Metal Gear rankings either. If someone saw like a, but uh, I won oh, that one. Yeah. You put two at like six. <laughs> but I won. <laughs> Uh, anyway, and you, you put platinum at six, Tavin. Fair. Um, there you go. And heart gold, soul silver is number one. It's the best Pokemon game ever made. And we're playing it in the game club and I'm excited to see what y'all think about it. And I'm also really, just really excited to like, see what, like what team y'all form, like how, how y'all put your team together and you know, what challenges you, you encounter along the way. It's great. Who will my starter be? That's the question. The, the the thing Boys, about that was that was me. The the thing about Pokemon nice. Soul Silver Connor is that it's either going to be very validating for Phil when I come into that review and like really like it, or I'm going to be kind of like mid on it. Like I like I think I think at worst I recognize that it's a good game, but I just don't think it's anything super special. Uh, and then I'll like I'll nitpick things, and then he'll get it. He'll get irritated at me for nitpicking it. Look, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to not get irritated and just hear you guys out because I think that was the main problem of when we started doing hype is I would get very defensive of the game. Yeah, and some of those games so. were dog shit, Phil. Jack two. <laughs> I see the look in Phil's face is like, okay. what did I just say again? You don't have to. He's like, be calm, like be calm. Like calm. <laughs> you don't have to just come for the throat like that. That's not cool. Um, <laughs> but you know, I'm I'm gonna do my best to. Kingdom Hearts is great, um, <laughs> but yeah, I just I'm I'm gonna just do my best to just hear you guys out and and you know I'm not I love well I do love that game y'all's opinions is not gonna change my opinion on that game you know oh no I, wouldn't, I wouldn't expect it to no no should it just huh. like your opinions your opinion That's just why like how when we get to Metal Gear Solid three and I'm going to have to break the town that is not the best video game of all time he's going to not <laughs> I, mean, to I, I mean but it is though, you know like can you, can you and it's not even I, close right there's back. nothing even close sure. I'll be right back can you just vamp for a second oh sure yeah. I like vamping I mean <laughs> like. I was actually thinking the other day, Connor. I was like, "Damn, Persona Four, fucking excellent game." And I was like, "Damn, it might be like one of my like my favorite." And I was like, "No, but Snake Eater." Snake you always Eaters. go back to that. Snake Eater's fucking. It's a fucking perfect video game. Perfect. Sure. It's a perfect, yeah, perfect video game. Yeah. And then I play that game, and I get the gameplay. And I'm like, "This is not perfect gameplay at all." It is. It's not perfect. It I, is. I, I could say one thing about it. It's not perfect. It's gameplay. just. A, it's a little aged. So Which it's is not a little, perfect. It's a little clunky. But that's because of the times. Yeah. You have to put yourself in the times, Connor. Not entire. Hey, we had this conversation with Mario 64. I'm not going to do that. I can't do that. Well, I think Mario 64 has other problems. It has more problems yeah. than Metal Gear Solid 3 would ever have. Yeah. Because it's compact. Yeah. I mean, like, like a- age is one thing, but also, like, like, like some games are not as great as as sometimes the conversation around them is. I think the first Metal Gear Solid is a great example of that. First Metal Gear Solid has problems. Mm-hmm. It, there's a, there's a lot of like yeah, it does. There's a lot of problems mm-hmm. like like in terms of like the ideas that it introduces and then immediately throws away. So why did you even introduce them? Um, uh, it, it's you know its third act is bloated to hell and uh, and uh, some of those boss fights are are in fact bullshit. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, Hideo. You hear that? We're talking to you. But in 1996 or 7, whenever that game came out, it it it, it was groundbreaking for reasons that people had never seen before. So mm-hmm. it gets credit in that way. But its story is still good. Its gameplay is still functional. And there is still fun to be had in it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's got issues. Yeah. The Distant Future, 2005. <laughs> it also... <laughs> Metal Gear also expects its players to be smart, but it doesn't expect its players to be clever. A good example of that is there's a moment about mid-ish way through the game, right after the Psycho Mantis fight, where there's like a little bit of a minefield, and Meryl mm. goes like, hey, I know where the mines are, follow me. And then like she like walks in a specific pattern, um, and there's like a whole like footprint, because her snow is in the footprint or whatever that you have to follow. Um, or... You can lie down and crawl forward two feet and be and be on the other side of it. Also, I found out in a speed run, no, you can just run straight forward. 
Like, as soon as you have control, if you just go up on D-pad, you, you run right right in between all the mines. <laughs> That's really funny. So, the game, I remember in my, the game expects the player to be smart, obviously, in its boss fights, but it doesn't expect him, the play, it, the game doesn't expect the player to be clever. Mm -hmm. So, when the player is clever, it breaks the game. Mm -hmm. I remember in my playthrough, I just, I army crawled and picked up all the mines. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what everybody does. It wasn't until uh, this uh, uh, last time that I played it, whenever that was, either December or January or whatever. Um, it was this last time that I played it that, like, I looked up a speedrun strat and saw him literally just run straight forward, and then I did it myself. And I went, this game's stupid mm -hmm. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, yeah, that game, I love that game, especially whenever you, you gotta take the little, like, card and you gotta just stand in, in an area. You gotta for... go warm the key. Mm -hmm. You gotta go cool the key. Yeah. Do I have those backwards? I, got, I think I have those backwards. It's cool it and then warm it. That's what I think it's cool and then warm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta climb up and down the same ladders seven times. Mm -hmm. He goes fast. I don't like it either. <laughs> not, frustrating, not frustrating at all. One of those times is uh, Snake just drops the key and you have to go run down, pick it up, and run back up and, and get it. And on, on normal and above... Uh, there's a rat that eats the key. So then you have to find the rat and blow it up. Uh-huh. That sounds like it'll be fun. It's not. <laughs> I could have I could have guessed. And it's a speed run killer because the rat the rat can be a little <laughs> fucker sometimes. <laughs> yeah, only you Fucking have that problem. rat. Fucking rat, man. Does that count towards um, your kill? No. No. no oh my god. Like, what if it did though? <laughs> that would be crazy. The game gives you enough space. Mm -hmm. Like, there's enough space to where you can kill a couple of people. Yeah. You just gotta didn't be you, smart. Weren't you, like, seven, seven kills over that one time you tried to do I it? I think I was a lot less than that. I think I might have been one kill over. I don't remember exactly. I remember, I, for some reason, the number seven is sticking out to me. It, it, um, was, uh, it was more than one. It might have been, like, three. Oh, okay. Or five. Yeah, Maybe he killed? That's it was definitely crazy. an odd number. It was definitely an odd number. It's definitely what it was, so... Yeah, that was uh, yeah, that was infuriating. Fucking not looking forward to playing that game again. I'll just say, it's a good game. But you know, it's charming. We'll see. Yeah. I, I I enjoyed it well enough when we played it. That was our first game we ever played on hype. I think I think also Phil, your ability to be able to put the game down, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, will help a lot. You know. Yeah, because I'm that was back when we were just doing it like one we, shot. we did it in one sitting, eleven hours, and it was just like, was it really that long? It was long, 11 bro. Eleven hours. Yeah, it was eleven hours. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, never doing that again. Yeah, and I don't recommend you play that game that way. Let me know. You know, Psycho Mantis. Maybe stop. Maybe stop after the Cyborg Ninja fight. You know, after your first session. You know, maybe a little earlier if you want. You know, but definitely. I mean, I'll also, I'll also beat the Cyborg Ninja in more than like thirty tries. Hmm. Oh God, dude, he was on the Cyborg Ninja for like two hours. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was very long, dude. dude Ferg, Ferg, Ferg was in. Ferg started in like Ferg was with us. He left for like an hour, came back and went. You're still here. <laughs> I was about to say that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, he was not very encouraging. No, <laughs> no, but not. No, <laughs> no. Uh, that that was that was the that was the 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 headache where I was like, oh no, Phil's Phil's like. He's brain. It. the the way Phil's brain works is gonna infuriate the shit out of me because like like Phil would go oh this one thing worked one time and then so if Cyborg Ninja did anything differently it wouldn't work so but like Phil would just continue to do the one thing and I'd be like Phil no no Phil put the goddamn gun away he blocks <laughs> bullets what the fuck are you doing have I ever told you the definition of insanity <laughs> <sighs> same fucking thing. Over and over and over again. Expect and expecting shit to change. Different results. Uh, there's shit to change. That's what he says. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was good. Connor, right. moving on to you, my friend. What do we have? Let's get on on it. You know what? You know what we do sometimes. Sometimes we go to Metacritic. We do a little trolling. We do a little. <laughs> well, not really trolling. Well, kind of because I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna ask the, you guys. The of Arrakis, it is I, Shia Lud. The, beloved, the malevolent sandworm of the desert. We're talking much, about little little Paul Atreides. Bes I call him Pesky Paul. How many times have you watched How does he that? get off? How does he get off the worm? He, call, he calls himself Muad'Dib. 
How does it get off? Moo and Deeb, look at me. I'm just a little little desert mouse. I'm just a little little, little desert mouse. Pesky Paul's a little desert mouse. And he is very tiny. I saw him. I could crush him very easily. <laughs> crush him very easily. You guys should he's watch a, Dune he's, too. He's, he's going to start a holy war. He's working with those Bene Gesserit nasty women. Nasty women. Okay, he's like memorized it. Yeah, trying I, to control, did he also I send you this control. meme? Yeah. yeah. I sent it to, to the, the group chat. Oh, into the group chat. I've gotcha. seen it before. So yeah. I was like, oh, this one. That was the winner. Uh, I, I, that, that's been a, that's been a hit at, uh, at work for the past like <laughs> week and a half. <laughs> I bet. Nasty women. They are nasty women. Nasty, nasty women. Are. Nasty women. You know, as, as a, as a, as, as a self-proclaimed feminist and ally, uh, uh, yeah, those those women are nasty. Those are those are in fact uh, some some trifling bitches. Mm-hmm. You Is know, that what uh, we don't like the Harkonnens. The Harkonnens they're after our spice. It's the most precious substance in the universe. Mm-hmm. They gave us a bad deal. I'm gonna get us a better deal. I'm so wait, these mo- the these motherfuckers these motherfuckers on Arrak on Arrakis they they just be getting high all the time. Yeah, because that shit is just in their food. They, until they build up a, 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 I think they basically become like. Uh, acclimated to it it's like the blue, the blue eyes yeah like that's why when paul first is eating it he's like oh shit so he's like tripping yeah. Could, yeah do they ever like like do they go through through withdrawals as well they might like i mean they live there off right right but if you cut them off what happens to them and you just start giving them regular food, never know you know we'll never know mm. fucking junkies well, i mean it's in it's like everywhere you know like anytime they're anytime they're just in the walls and they don't have a little like nose thing on like it's yeah. just there yeah, you want to know how they get off the worms? They wait for the worm to get tired and stop. Hmm. Or maybe it just goes in the, the wall. Oh yeah, probably. Is that in the books? Yeah. Just waits oh, for the worm funny. to stop. That's got to be tiresome, inconvenient. Yeah. He's going. He's going to the the south of the the south of the the sad storm. Gonna wage a holy war. What's your fucking hmm. mini game? <laughs> well, my mini game is going to Metacritic, a place uh, an aggravated review you. site. And I'm going to go to the top 10 games. But not just top 10 games. Oh, boy. Top 10 GameCube games. Ah, fuck off. Mm-hmm. Everyone loves the GameCube. It's one of the things we all I got started on. I love the GameCube. On. Tavin notably loves the GameCube over most other consoles. And uh, does he know what the games, the best games are on that console, though? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I you know. Actually, the GameCube I is actually a rectangular mm-hmm. prism. The what? The GameCube is actually a rectangular prism. Okay. Is it like longer than it is tall or something? What? Yeah? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Never knew that. Well, you know what? Phil, heads or tails? Heads. Heads, huh? Let's see. Uh, uh, And it is Tavin. Hey, oh. You are the one who is going first. I'm winning. Reasonably. Is this this, this a good idea? This is a hit 10, yeah? It's a hit 10 using Metacritic. Yeah, you're going to tell us how... Oh, uh, of course, of course. Some of you you don't know... Right? 10 games. The top 10 best GameCube games. In inverse order, points are going to be assigned with number one gaining you 10 points, number two gaining you nine points. It goes on and on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Person with the most points at the end of this mini game is the winner. And the best gamer uh, seer or gamer sage, if you want to use that word. And so, I don't know if I can name 10 GameCube games. Oh, it's easy. To <laughs> are, you, are you for real? Yeah, I don't know if I can name 10. Um, I'm gonna start. I got this shit in the bag, dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, you might. Oh wait, there is that one too. Okay, hold on. I've got. I mean, I've got. I've got the usuals. There's the usuals. So, oh, you know what? That's it. Of course, Metroid Prime. Fuck. Ten points, Tavin. Ten points. Yeah. That's a good one to start off That's with. That's how you fucking do it, lads. That's, That's how you, you just sit and you think. Just for half a second, just stop and think. <clears throat> Metroid Prime. And with its, uh, right, well, I'll give the score, with a 97. I'll save it to the end. 97? Wow. Yeah. Shout out. Magic. We should play that game. Yeah, we should. <laughs> Can we play the remaster on Switch? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Cool. Is that on the list? In the game it's in there. Well, it's I think it should be. It's I think it should there. be in there. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I don't see why we wouldn't play the remaster. I mean, it's I yeah, mean, it's same game like, better. You know, it just looks game, a little better. Updated, yeah. yeah, easier to play for us. I also say, I also say, Phil, to the to the Persona Three question, play whatever version you want. Cool. I don't think I I don't think there's a the, the the fandom seems to agree that there is not a singular definitive version of the game. Okay, like, not like Persona Four Golden. 
where yeah, you should play yeah, gold. Uh, yeah, like we will play golden, we will play royal, like yeah. that type thing. But like it's uh, also like it's probably also um even less like it probably matters even less now that they're adding the like the whatever what's it called? The new DLC. Not the new DLC, but like they had like the second part, whatever. The, I guess they're, they're, they're doing the true I guess. Yeah, yeah. stuff, right? Or no? I don't know about that. I just no. know they're doing I guess DLC. What is that? She's one of the characters. Oh. But it, but that was in the original game already though, right? Like, yeah, just, it was. Yeah. Oh, they they're just adding more content. I, we're they, gonna get. We're go- eventually. I think three will become the definitive package eventually. Mm-hmm. But as of right now, like, I mean it. It's just the base game, and that's it. Nothing else. What do you like, What do you think the tagline is going to be? Because it's Persona Five Royal, Persona Four Golden. What's the What's the? I mean, it's. Oh, you think they're going to sell us another version of the game? I think it's just going to be Reload. I think I think they're just going to add on to Reload. Yeah, in the, in the form yeah. of okay. DLC. Yeah, I think it's just. Gonna oh, be, I guess yeah. I think it's just going to be give us twenty dollars for these three packs. Whatever else they decide to do. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Phil. All right. Well. With my first guess, I'm going to take away a game that I know Tavin knows. Uh, I'm going to say Resident Evil 4. Yeah. Fuck. Oh. Number two spot. Oh, Nine I didn't even. Nine points. I didn't even fucking think about RE4. That's a great fucking pick. God it was damn. On the GameCube. It was the GameCube game. One of the GameCube games. Being one of the best con- uh, consoles ever made, you're going to have tons okay, of Okay, well, things. shit. In that case, I'm going to go to. Shit. Shit. Now it's the game of which one do I take? Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> Are you are you between the same two I am? Doubtful? Because <laughs> I'm between <laughs> five. <laughs> okay. Well, uh right. I know which one I'm of these five, I know which one I'm not saying first. Um Fuck. Fuck, that's hard. <laughs> Come on. When did Metacritic start doing Metacritic? You know, Long it goes time. back. It goes back a while. Like, yeah, but it, I mean, they but, have a backlog but, too. But so. mm-hmm. GameCube, yeah, th- that's the thing. Is these are all backlogged, right? All these GameCube games are backlogged because the site didn't exist when the GameCube was popping, probably. I think right? so. Or am I wrong? I have no clue. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they like posted the review like way back when. I think they just they just. I don't. I I think it's it's just they, uh, they added it, po- like obviously post release like. Like much part of has release. Obviously, all most reviews are. I don't really. I don't, post release, I don't know which one to grab first. Tamman's got a scrounge. Um. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. I guess fuck it. Yeah, Super Smash Brothers Melee. Well, and with that, What's Super Smash Radar. Super Me- uh, Smash Brothers Melee is not on the fuck list. Off. Really? It is I was expecting that to be like off know, eight. Yeah, I thought so too. I was expecting lowest number six. Yeah, it wasn't on there. Wow! All right, crazy, right? Let me let me get let me get uh, Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. Hell yeah! With one of the best. I forgot that was on not only GameCube (laughs) games, games that was the bridge between between GameCube and the Wii. Yeah, the GameCube and Wii. Yeah, the number three spot with eight points. Yeah, wow! That, hey, that is like that's overrated. As no, fuck. It's no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it is not. That is one of the Very best. Nice. That, that would be deserving on the number one spot on this fucking list, let no. alone number three. Yes, absolutely fucking yes. not. Yep, absolutely, absolutely fucking. I stand not. by that. The first five hours of that game, boring as shit. No, it's not. It's extremely. It, it sets the entire yeah. You want to go fucking herd atmosphere. sheep, Connor? You want to I mean, go fucking herd start. sheep for three hours? You don't do it that long. It's a quick scene. In fact, I remember it being long when I first did it, but then I went back as a grown man. I was like, this is... But also, like, the level design doesn't get in its bag until the late game. And it doesn't need level design out the gate. Every game needs level design. It Every game needs level design, and it does have that, but the initial moments of that game are all about the atmosphere, which is the most unique one Legend of Zelda has ever had to Resident date. Evil Remake. What? Resident Evil... <laughs> remake uh you fucking little bitch it's not on the list really look at you look at you so confident right. i i was i was very worried worried tavin was going to take the other one uh because i i, I thought i left the door open for I him thought about it. Wind Waker. i thought about it <laughs> the number four spot oh fuck. with seven points we were we were literally by the way gone the top position so yeah ten, nine eight seven. Oh, points. so one two three points. four nice, nice yeah. yeah one two three four will it keep up no, but we'll see where you guys go. So no melee. 
Fuck. Tavin, this is your fourth pick. I know. Now we're 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 in the hard spot right now. I will say that. I don't th- I don't even think I can catch up. Um Doubtful. Fuck. If I would you- need six and no, because even if I got six and five, no, nah, I'm because he's he's at twenty four right now. So six and five will put me at twenty. Mm. Twenty one, excuse me. Um Dude, I don't know. And and this is the hard part is it's it's you're fighting in your brain what the GameCube is known for mm-hmm. versus how these things worked. We're on guest number four, right? Yeah. Okay. So I have two to, th- to knock off. Okay. Dude, the fact Melee's not on this fucking list is atrocious. Yeah, that's actually really crazy. Surprising. I was thinking, I was, I, I was like, that's dead center, like seven or eight. You know. And you know what, guys? I'm gonna read the rest of this list later, and you'll all be even more uh, in agreement. There's gonna be like a shitty ass Tomb Raider game or something mm-hmm. on there. Um, it's gonna be worse than that. Yeah. Fuck it. Uh, I mean, I'm. Uh, Tick, it's tricky. Tricky Dick. That was the nickname for Richard Nixon. Um, tricky Dick. It was Tricky Dick, yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, can I ask? Nah, yeah, he's tricky dick. Can I ask the number 10 spot? What is the Metacritic score for that game? 92. Fuck. Oh. It's a packed, packed list. Packed it list. Um, I wonder how many ties we have. Or like at least as far as like the score goes, yeah, a couple. I imagine. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm kind of running out of games here. I've got a few more, but I just don't believe in them. That's the problem. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, you gotta believe. I know, as Lucio would say. You're losing this, Tavin. But if remake- they, it, dude, if there's a Mario Party on this list, I'm fucked because I have no idea what numbers those mm-hmm. were. Um, Did probably we- like what six or some shit. Which one was? Which one was on GameCube? Multiple. There was a couple on GameCube, right? Wasn't it like four, five, six? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Maybe. No, no I think honestly, what five, six, eight, seven? Maybe. Well, I think it might have been five, six, seven because eight was the first one on the Wii. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, spaghetti uh, at the wall. Will it stick? Fuck it, man. Uh, give me, give me, give me, give me double dash. It is not on the list. Yeah. It deserves to be. I know. Um, yeah. Super Mario Sunshine. I don't know if Double Dash deserves to be. It does. Sunshine, I don't know if it deserves to be, and it is not it, on the list. No, it shouldn't be on the list. It does. It be- it I think Sunshine's like an 88 or something. Uh, mm. No. What Higher? is it? Do you know it? 92. Really? Yeah. It just isn't making the cut. Oh. Yep. That's crazy. This is yeah. This That's is, overrated as fuck. Sunshine is not a ninety. No, it's not. It, no, it's 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 a ninety. No, it's not. We'll find that out. Um, Lowest will give you is eighty nine. I'd personally go like eighty five. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm out of. I'm 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 out of games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm I'm out. Um. Twilight Princess was the one I never would have gotten. Uh, no respect. M- fuck it, man. Mario Party. Which one do the people like? <laughs> How would you know? I don't. Uh, six. It is not on the list. All right, yeah. It's n- there's nobody, no Mario nobody Party talks on the about, list. Nobody talks about the ones on the GameCube. I feel like people like five though. or something. I don't know. Six is what I always thought people What do they like? Do they like like three or some shit? Mm-hmm. Two or three? Two. Two, people like two, two. one. All right. Phil, this is the final game for people you. People like the last one that came out. I never played it. Neither did I. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mario Party did. Superstars? Yeah. It's good. It's really good. We should play it. The Dictator Phil. Um, all right. Uh, my last pick. Where's Star Wars Battlefront 2 on this list? <laughs> <laughs> it was on GameCube? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. I think it was. Might have been. Talking to you, Mike. I think it was. And it's right here. I think it was. Mm. Well, Phil. Give you... me. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. I'm literally. Oh, I you know what? Now. I should have fucking gone for. Never mind. Mm-hmm. I have two now. 
Bum, bum. Fuck. Can I? Can I? I'm just gonna. Sh- I'm just gonna I'll, I'll just. Yep. I I'm just gonna talk time. out loud. I'm gonna talk out loud right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm between. I'm between Beautiful Joe. Oh fuck. And I don't know nothing about Beautiful Joe, but I hear about it all the fucking time. I don't know what goddamn thing about it. Between Beautiful Joe and Soul Caliber. Ooh, that's a good one. Soul Caliber would it be two? Which one would it be, Phil? Pretty sure I know which one it was. Turn on the game. Oh, wait, you know which game? Fuck, oh, just because like there's not more than one, I'm just going to say Beautiful Joe. Beautiful Joe is on the list. Wow. At the number eight position. Oh, look at you. Ooh. Netting you a three final points. pretty little three, three points. Extra three points. There you go, 27. Go. Three-pointer. So that leads to Tavin's 10 points. Yeah. Against Phil's uh, nine... 10, 11, 12, 27. 13, 14. Is, 27. is 27. M- Metroid Fusion on the list? No. Wow. Never heard of that. Metroid Fusion was on uh, Game Boy. Was it really? Mm-hmm. Yep. Wait, that, but it's the sequel to Prime? No. Which Metroid one Prime 2 Prime? is the sequel Echoes. to Prime. Oh, Echoes. Oh, is... I didn't know they did. I didn't know that's what they called it. Okay. Oh, they, it, they're all in the Prime. What is it? What is the third one? Metroid Prime Other M? Or is it just called Metroid yes. Other M? I think it's Metroid Prime Mother M. Oh, okay. Metroid Prime 2 on the list. <laughs> oh, um, oh, that was a question? No. Um, um, no, so yeah, Metroid Fusion was on the GBA, Game Boy Advance. It was. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't have anything else. All right, give me the list. Just tapped in. Okay. Number 10. This is a game we need was to... Was it Soul Calibur 5? No. No? Okay. No, Is that, that no, a PS3 that's game? Late. Maybe, maybe. So right. caliber five. Let me see. Isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Go number ten. We need to add this to the, the game club now because I've seen it so much of how people love it, and apparently it's amazing. Eternal Soul Darkness. Five is a, is Sanity's a Requiem. Game. What'd you what say? That? Soul caliber five is a three sixty game. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, never heard of that game in my life, Connor. I mentioned it on the podcast once before during one of our lists. Eternal, Eternal Darkness. Yep, Sanity's Requiem, horror game. Okay. Yeah, like I, I only heard good things about it. Never heard of it before in my life. Number nine, NFL 2K3. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Get hey, out of here, dude. That, that was at a time when NFL games were 2003. Like, were I mean, I mean, 2003 is is heralded as as a great football game. But yeah. get the fuck out of here. Number eight, Beautiful Joe. Okay. Number seven, Soul Calibur 2. Ah, fuck. yeah. So you were you would have gotten one extra point, but still uh, good that yeah. you even considered it. Uh, one extra. I even said that I said two, right? I don't know if you ever got. Uh, he did numbers. say two. Okay, he did say oh. two. Close, close. Number six, <laughs> Madden NFL 2004, which I've heard is the best fuck Madden off. game. Uh, again, Harold, it is one of the best football games ever ever made. But also, get the fuck out of here. And number yeah, five, who cares? Give me Kinda, Smash Brothers. Give me Mario Kart. Give me fucky. Give me Sunshine. What are we doing here? Well, we're at number five. Is what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. Fuck off! Oh, is that is that like uh, it's got like one Zelda two links links adventure and then like um, link to the past? Is that what it is? Uh, I'm trying to find out. Um, ooh, it was literally I saw the fucking description. Where is it? And then four was Wind Waker, three was Twilight Princess, two was. Oh, what, I'm sorry. Yeah, two, I, so. I should finish that. First. Oh, Resident Evil four, Resident Evil four, and then one was Metroid Prime. Yep. It's a heavy top five. <laughs> it's a heavy top five. Let me tell you what. Heavy it? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a crazy top five. Three crazy Legends of Zelda. Yeah. Three. Uh, eh, collector's editions. That's, that's a lame. That's the dumb one. Yeah. That's a lame. That was the lamest what entry on the list. On it, though? I'm looking this up. Yeah, I should probably look for that. I'm not going to look that up. But While he's looking that up, I'm going to go ahead and intro my sh- my Includes, my includes sh- four classic Zelda games. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a lot. Probably why it got so high up. Probably on the got list. Link to the Past and Link's Awakening. Maybe. Maybe Link's Awakening. I could see that. It's not yeah. showing on Metacritic. Let it, me see. It honestly might have Ocarina of Time in Majora's Mask. Ooh. Uh, so that's a good. That's a good point. Collection. Which if it did have that, it's yeah, like, because because the GameCube does have Ocarina on it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it has Ocarina and Majora's edition. Mask on it. 
is a compilation of the Legend of Zelda games from previous consoles for the Nintendo GameCube. Okay, can you tell me what's on it though? Like, I found includes the Legend of Zelda, Zelda Two, the Legend Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, and the Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask. Mm, so yeah. it's the original Zelda Two: Link's Adventure, and then because I of Time I remember Mask. buying, I had a Wii at the time, but obviously all Wiis were backwards compatible with the GameCube. Um, yeah. I remember buying a uh, a a it. it was an Ocarina of Time, and I think Majora's Mask Two Pack. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had a friend it, that had that. It wouldn't work. Damn. It didn't work. Oh, I remember. I remember work. like going to like like a bunch of different stores, and I got like three different copies, and none of them would ever work. Oh wow! Yeah, Weird. No, yeah. Up. My um, I one of my best friends in uh, God at the time would it have been elementary school? Yeah, I think it was elementary school where I would go to his house and we would play uh, Ocarina of Time on his so, uh, on his game classic game. Gentlemen, today I'm gonna do something a little new. Um, be ready to write things down. I'm doing okay. I'm doing uh, uh, blind rankings. I've got two categories here. Ooh, I've got two Last categories. Last time you did this, you made me you made me put number one Lord of the Rings column. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing blind rankings. Uh, both uh, both categories have five entries on them. Um, the first one is I wanted. To, it was based off a conversation me and Connor had the other night uh, about uh, consoles. And their look. So I want you to rank the attractiveness of these five consoles. All right? And then the second... Ca- I'll go ahead and tell you now. The second category is based off of a conversation that me and Phil had over uh, uh, TikTok IMs uh, about mm. video game trilogies. So we're going to do That's good. That's attractive good consoles and then video game trilogies. Uh, and I'm going to have you blind rank them in... in uh, so, Connor, if you don't know, yeah. you've got five slots... You gotta. I'm gonna say a, a thing. You gotta put it in one of those five slots, and once you put it there, you gotta keep it there. Okay. It's gotta stay there. Could lead to some mayhem. Who knows? Who knows? I just know. I just know you're gonna do some fuck shit like you did with Gollum. Attractiveness of a console. All right. Our first one up. The original Xbox. Ugh. Where are we putting it, gentlemen? You can go ahead and tell me. Like we can, we can have the conversation as we do this. Yeah, I'm. I mean, just because I don't know what else you have, I'm not going to put it at five. I'm going to get and put it. I'm going to put a strong four on that one. Oh, Phil's going four. Uh, same here. Uh, Connor also went four. We are, we are both going four on this yeah, one. It okay. can't be the bottom. Okay. Next They're up, worst looking consoles. Do I want to? Do I want to switch this up? Hmm. Fucking ugly ass controller though. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Next up, the PlayStation Two. Ooh. Same generation. Okay. We are doing the fat boy. The fat boy. Okay. The original okay. the big boy. Not slim. All right. That does that does kind of change things. I think the slim definitely looks better. Definitely looks better. We're doing the we're doing the big boy. Okay. I still have my big boy. I don't have my slim anymore though. Uh I've got a slim tucked away under my bed. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put that at number three. Get off my ass, Phil. <laughs> but I like also it. at number three with the PS2. Yeah. Here we but go. I like it. All right. It's, Next yeah. up, I'm going to switch this up. I'm going to go the N64. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like the N64 a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me. I'm going to. I'm going to look at. I'm going to get a quick look at that bad boy real quick. 64. Because like he needs to. What I think about it. it. Yeah. Shut up. The curve. I can imagine it. Yeah. Right now. Ooh. The little curve. Ooh, yeah. The four ports. Yeah. Well, that's the chunky, the chunky clunk, mm-hmm. as you put in the... I like I like the little nubs. On the corners? And like the power... Yeah, yeah. yeah and the power, yeah. power button's pretty good. The problem with that, Tevin, is that's not yeah. the look of the console. That's the feel of putting the cartridge in. Well, when you put a cartridge in, it looks sexy as fuck. It does. It does. Oof. I, that's got to be my number two. There's got to be something better, right? Wow, he's putting it in number two. It was my number two as well. <laughs> you fuckers. I'm in the same goddamn No, I don't know. I mean, like... <laughs> we're using the right, same so train of thought. We've done the thing, we've done the thing <laughs> so that happens in a lot of, like, blind... You have the number one open and the number five open. Uh-huh. So it's either number wor- the worst or the best, you know? 
This is where Tavin has the opportunity to do some fuck shit. Uh, I think either way, I think you guys have fucked up here. Uh, um, here we go. Uh, next. I'm going to say the Ouya. I'm going to keep it in, in the Nintendo family. And I'm going to go the Nintendo Wii. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Wii. Going to the bottom. Damn. Rough. You're also putting it in the bottom. <laughs> just because I know what the next one is has to be better. Uh, does it? I think so. Does it, though? Does it, though? Does it, though? Yeah. I, I have an idea what you're going to say. Well, Connor, it's the one that spawned the conversation. And it is, in fact... Fuck! The new boy on the block. The PlayStation PS5? 5. The PlayStation you know, 5. You I'm not mad at it. I'm not mm, mad at it. The worst looking out of all of the... Eh, well, I guess it barely edges out over not, Xbox. Not even mad at it. I've come around, I've come around on the PS5. <laughs> From the jump, I've loved the PlayStation 5. I think the PlayStation 5 is the sexiest console of all time. My list is better. It's got good. It's got good curve. It's got good. I mean, you you have the same list. <laughs> yeah, but I like mine. He doesn't. Oh, like no, yeah, no, no, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. That is true. So again, to one of you list them off for me real quick. We've got number five, the yeah. Nintendo Wii. Number four, we have the original Microsoft Xbox. The number three, we have the Sony PlayStation Two. Mm. Next, we have the Nintendo sixty four. Mm. And finally, we have the PlayStation 5. Yeah, I would rearrange a lot of this list. <laughs> Xbox um, number five. Xbox would go down to five. PS2 for you would be going down to number four. We would be number three. No. Oh, well, it's the fat boy, actually. Yes. Yeah. The, the PS2 would be at. Yeah. Yeah. I would. Yeah. So. Uh, so we number three and 64 number two? Yeah. Um, yeah. Whatever you just said. So number one, PS5. Number two, and 64. No. Is that what I said? That's what, what I said. Yeah, number two and 64. Number three is the Wii. Number four is the PlayStation 2. PS2. Number five is the Xbox. Mm -hmm. Xbox. Yeah. Uh, due to the fact that it's the Fant Boy, if I had to rearrange it, it would be five Xbox, four PlayStation 2, then it would get different with uh, three being PS5, two being Wii, one being N64. I'm not mad at that list either, Connor. I'm not mad uh, at would, it. Personally, I would put I would put the PS5 above the Wii. Like for me, PS5 would be going to number two. I like the simplicity of the Wii. It's sleek. It's easy so to carry I, around. Like, it got the. Are we talking? The, are we talking the black Wii or the white Wii? Either white one. Wii. It'd be white Wii. Yeah, it's, it's the one you. It was the one you think about. If it was the black Wii, I would put it higher. I also like the fact that it has uh, ports I like, in it. I, maybe it's just me. I like white consoles. Yeah, I don't mind them. I like. Just, it. I don't. I don't like how it. I like how it sticks out on my on my on, with my desk setup with my PS5. But I just yeah. didn't like. Was I like of the, the Series S? I like a lot. The too. white Wii. Hmm. I like the Series S a lot too. Xbox 360. We had the conversation about the 360. Yeah, I would put well, that high. Looked good as well. Well, Tavin, we, we have we're, we're talking about when you mentioned the the. Uh, sorry, you mentioned the Xbox 360 Series did look better in black though. Yeah, you mentioned the Xbox Series S. Yeah, that's black and white. <gasps> yeah, Same with the advertised PS5. as white. And when you right, think about got, when, when you name accents. it, when you name it, you think about the white one. It's got black accents though, just like just like the PS5. It's black and white. It's mostly white though. I mean, it's pretty evenly. Split. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Nah, PS5. Moving on to our second thing, and then we're gonna get out of here. All right. Fucking think I have trilogies time. Gaming trilogies. And and if necessary, I think it's pretty self-explanatory uh which games are going to be involved in this. But if necessary, I will confirm the titles that I have in mind when when saying this. So are you ready again for a, a blind ranking? Mm -hmm. Here we go. We're both ready. Uh the first one. God of War. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Yeah. Not okay. twenty eighteen, Connor. No, I know. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go number four. I'm gonna go number five. Wow. Yeah, I have wow. no problem with that. That's but there's probably gonna be one that's worse. But I, I also don't mind. That's crazy. Comparative to what the other ones I think are gonna be on this list. I mean, debatably for you, Connor, one that could potentially be worse is the the next one that I'm gonna name, which is Uncharted. No, I'd go Uncharted, the original trilogy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. But where? Where do I, I want? I've played to put a lot more Uncharted one, two, than I've played three. God of War, but you would put it. I don't know. I don't know if I. 
I didn't play God of War, which I helps. I don't know too. if I would put Uncharted over God of War today. I really only like maybe in ten the years ago. Trilogy, one, mm -hmm. two, and three. What? Maybe maybe ten years ago I would have put Uncharted over on God of War, but I think today I'm putting God of War over Uncharted. Hmm. Well, Uncharted for me is number four. I'm putting Uncharted number five. Wow. Well, just swap those two. Mm -hmm, yeah. Look at y'all. Metal Gear Solid. Uh, fuck. I have no yep. problem putting that at three. Wow. Because I don't like two. the gameplay of one. Two is better, but it's not like substantially amazing. You're three's insane. good, but it's, two is, you know, three's holding the, up the two, list. Two and three have awesome gameplay. I'm awesome. going gonna, gonna to say two. He's, go, he's going two. You went three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mass Effect. All right, there we go. That's my number one. <laughs> <laughs> he said that was it. That was the one. <laughs> I want to put up number one too, but I feel like the, the last one's going to be the fucking like, but it could also be shit too. Yeah, so you, know, you never know. That's the, that's, the, that's the risk you have to yeah. run here, Connor. See, I'm, I have one in my mind. Is it the one in your hand or the one in the bush? You know? You know what? I'm going to do one too. All right, we both went one. Just because I think I know what number two is, and the next what one. What do you think is, number two is? I think it's a Halo. Phil. I mean, if it's anything like the conversation we had, it could be one of two things, you know. Well, unfortunately, uh, Phil, it's neither of those things. Uh, it's uh, Batman Arkham. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I'm totally fine with this. <laughs> well, at least we get hot ass Catwoman. Hell yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Harley. That's actually that's Poison actually Ivy? a hardcore list I just put together there. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So Phil, Phil, ring us off five to one, man. What what was your final yeah, yeah. list there? Five to one. Number five, we have the Uncharted one, two, and three, the trilogy. Crazy. Number four, we have God of War one, two, and three. Uh huh. Number three, we have Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Knight. Yes, number sir. two, we have Metal Gear Solid one, two, and three. And uh -huh. number one, we have Mass Effect one, two, and three. For my list, we got five God of War one, two, three. Four, Uncharted 1, 2, 3. Three, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3. I almost instinctively just said three. Yeah, yeah. It's the best one. Number two, the Batman Arkham series. <laughs> Number one, Mass Effect. <laughs> All, uh, the only one I'm like upset about is MGS going below Batman because it's not, that doesn't belong there. Both of y'all just kind of dismissing Metal Gear is kind of fucking wild. I'm dismissing the catalog. Metal Gear whole. number two. Yeah, you put it oh, too. Never mind. Because <laughs> right. I'm gonna do the same fucking thing. <laughs> no, yeah, I think yeah, mass yeah, for for obviously, Connor, that wouldn't be your personal ranking. Phil, I think that's probably pretty close to your personal ranking. I th I think that's probably true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I would go I, mean, I haven't I haven't played I've I i have not played the original one or two for God of War. Um, but yeah. I imagine I probably would enjoy those games more than I enjoyed Uncharted. But you know. See the thing about it is is that I need to revisit Arkham City. I'm pretty sure I know how I feel about Arkham Knight, but Arkham Asylum and our playthrough of that on the Game Club, which you can find our review at youtube.com slash at 2 Games. Uh, there's a nice game. playlist with, for all the Game Club things. You should watch it. My playthrough of Arkham Asylum was disappointing. Um, so I, I, really I, the end. I've always liked Arkham City better. No, my whole experience with Asylum, I was like, oh, wow, this is not as fun as I remember it being. Um, uh, for me, it was just the end. But Arkham City, like, I remember being fucking, like, that game is nuts. That game um, fucks. Yeah, is my memory of it. And I still, I, I think it still does. I think it still does. Yeah, sure. it does. A lot of people's rankings is, is um, City, Night, uh, Asylum. Night's gone up in recent years. It seems like people actually look back on it fondly, whereas I remember I, that I, people I weren't so hot Night. on it the first time. There's just there's there's just problems with Night. Mm -hmm. All the Batman like stuff is great. The tank stuff, nah. And mm -hmm. the ending is, is, is like they leave the ending up to interpretation, and so that kind of rubbed some people the wrong way. Um, you get the yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go. Wow, this is actually really hard. I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to put Uncharted at five. Uh, and then I'm going to go, 
I think I think because God of War is more consistent, I think I'm gonna go at number four. I'm gonna go Batman. Oops. Number five, I'm gonna go God of War. Or I'm sorry, number three, I'm gonna go God of War. Excuse me. Uh, number two, I'm gonna go Metal Gear Solid. Number one, Mass Effect. I just don't know how you could say that with Uncharted two and three compared to Batman: Arkham Asylum and potentially Night. If it has like whole segments that just suck. You're saying Uncharted, but, but I, I think Uncharted One and Arkham Asylum are quite comparable. Fair enough. In terms of quality, um, uh, Uncharted Two is the, uh, you know, debatably the pink the peak of the franchise. Um, but I don't think that, to my memory, Arkham City's peak is so much higher. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't care for three Uncharted Three. Uh, yeah, really. I I would be fine picking up Arkham Knight today. Mm. Um, so yeah, I yeah I have no interest in playing Uncharted Three really ever again. Uh, so that's 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 Freak's why it, that's why it hits that low, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas God of War One, Two, and Three, uh, they're each different in their own ways. Three is the most different. Um, but they're they're mostly for the most part the same kind of gameplay, and I enjoy that experience, and I could pick up any of those three God of War games. I think two and three are obviously better, but, you know, one still has nice qualities about it, and so I'd, I'd, I'd pick up all three of those uh, any day of the week, really. Mm-hmm. And then uh, just to have fun fun with. I don't know if, like, it, it would constitute a whole playthrough, but I would have fun with it. And then uh, what's left? Obviously, Metal Gear Solid, I think, is phenomenal. Uh, but, you know, one has aged in a lot of ways, and two's ending is a little... Um, um, Kojima, Kojima, but in a, in in but history proved him right, <laughs> uh, type of thing. So it's kind of crazy, but it is quite Kojima, uh, and it, I think three is the perfect video game. But like, yeah, uh, like as a whole package trilogy, you can't get better than Mass Effect. Ma- like I said in the Rebirth review, uh, to me, like Mass Effect is probably number one best cast of characters of all time. Uh, and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is probably going to run second. Right now, I'm just really high on Rebirth. So, mm-hmm. it, like, I have to wait for the high of Rebirth to come down. Because, God, you know, Tifa, you know? I love her. Yeah. You know? Red 13. Best boy. You know what I mean? Nanaki. What? His name's He's Nanaki. Right. What do you, what do you like? It's you not, it's, it's not Nanaki. Nanaki. It's Nanaki. It is Nanaki. Oh, that's it's what you're Nanaki. Mean. Yeah, fair enough. Whatever. Nanaki. Fake fans. Nanaki. I, I, I just I didn't focus on the pronunciation. I was focusing on the name. There was one. There was one name in Rebirth. I can't remember it now, but there was one name that they said, and I was like, "Is that how you say it?" Oh <laughs> shit! I've been pronouncing that wrong. Um, my name. My name is uh, Bugenhagen. Bugenhagen. I thought it was Bugenhagen. It's Bugenhagen. You're you're right. Phil. It's German. I always thought it was Bugenhagen. I mean, remember Hagen oh, Das. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah, I, okay. I thought you were saying the other way around. I thought you were saying Bugenhagen. Like, that was the correct way. No, I've always thought it was Bugenhagen, but it's Bugenhagen. Oh, it's Bugenhagen. Hagen does. That's, uh, that's, that's Nanaki's grandpa. I mean, you can say that, Connor, but the name is not German. But it's a German. Hmm? The name's not German. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Hagen? Yeah. The okay. character Hagen. isn't German. Yeah, right. What? The, current, the character's not German. I didn't say the character was German. I said Hagen. The character's is very much an old Japanese man. Yeah, Hagen, I'm saying, is the German. Does he, does he float around? Does he float around? In, yeah, of course. He has to float yeah, around. Of course. of course. He's the wise old man. Uh huh. Nice. Cosmo Canyon. Boom, 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 that whole scene boom, played boom, out very boom, boom, differently than I thought it was going to. Really? Yeah, than, than what I thought it yeah. was going to. How was, uh, how was Matt Mercer's Vincent? Oh, dope. Yeah, I'm yeah. sick, sick as fuck. I, want to play, I, want to, I wish I could nice. play Vincent. Jesus Christ. Nice. You're going to get a whole game of Vincent. I know, but I want to play him now. He's going to have a whole story arc. I know he is, and it's going to be great. Do you yeah. Think, do you think they're going to do like like a like a remake integrate, how they did with like for Yuffie, but this time for Vincent? Oh, shit. Dude, mm. there's backstory shit. There's definitely stuff they could do. They probably won't. But why wouldn't they just save that for the next game? You know? That's tr- but to focus on every other I mean, thing they're going to be doing. You could ask, you could ask the same thing about Yuffie. Well, Yuffie took place well, during Midgar, so yeah, it kind of and they it ran alongside. New, they but. gave us a new story, and it was like it was Yuffie's own solo story, and 
it was it was with the intention of giving her backstory that the player can care about, which she needed. Yeah, she because her character's bare, pretty bare bones in the original game. Extremely. Yeah. Um, and so they, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'll say this: like, you need to play Intermission. Like, mm-hmm. Intermission is on the playlist. To, to, it, I mean, it's not on the playlist, but like, if you want to care about Yuffie, Yuffie, you need to play Intermission. Yeah, type thing because the stuff that happens in that DLC matters to her character in Rebirth. Well, guess what? I already care about Yuffie because I played Kingdom Hearts one and two. <laughs> She's very fun in this game. Yeah, I like her. I didn't tell you um, on the, the game's cast, but there's a moment during one of the I side missions yeah. where you're dealing with like clones of a character, you know who, and ah. you, you know you're you're driving around, and she's like, you know, oh, what if we make cl- uh, copies of like she's like Tifa, right? And then there's a pause, and then uh, Yuffie's like. You're thinking dirty thoughts, aren't you, Cloud? <laughs> and he's like, "Shut up! I knew it, perv." <laughs> and it was—that's one of those funny fucking bits that just comes out of nowhere. We, we, oh we were all God. thinking it. Yeah, you know, we were. And even and, and Yuffie knew Cloud was thinking it. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, awesome. that's why I love the cast so much. Just moments like that. Can I say? I don't even know if I can say it. Better off not saying don't, it. Though. Don't. I don't think it's important. You don't think it is. You don't know that it isn't. I'll I'll I'll, I'll hold it. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. All right. I might, well, I might say it to you because you're. I think no, you're not deep enough. Actually, mm-hmm. never mind. Shut up, well, right. boys. This has been another episode of the Piggy Bank. Piggy Bank. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on our casual gaming podcast with your casual gaming buds. I have been Phil, your host. Check out all of our social medias and links in the description below. Below me. Get it? Below me. This is the whole bit that they used to do back in the day. Anyway, boys, say goodbye. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye.